for the Maldivian president. The Maldivian MDP parliamentary group has agreed to submit impeachment against President Mohamed Muzu. According to reports, a lawmaker from the MDP in partnership with the Democrats have gathered enough signatures for an impeachment motion. This comes after a day of crisis in the Maldivian parliament. The ruckus began after opposition MPs were barred by the ruling party MPs from entering the parliamentary chamber during the vote on President Mohamed Muzu's new cabinet. A late night session of Maldives Parliament resumed, which, however, was overshadowed by the standoff between the members. <laughs> Earlier, chaos broke out as Ruling party leaders disrupted proceedings and blocked the Speaker from conducting proceedings in the House. Lawmakers were seen blowing a trumpet in order to disrupt the Speaker's address. After that, two MPs got into a brawl and threw punches at each other. A lawmaker was also seen running away with microphones amid a physical altercation. A few members of the opposition had withheld approval of four members of Muzu's cabinet. The opposition, Maldivian Democratic Party and the Democrats, who hold a majority in Parliament, then collectively decided to block the approval of certain cabinet members. The opposition has raised questions about the suitability of the designated cabinet ministers. This comes amid strained diplomatic tensions between New Delhi and male president Muzu. And he has asked New Delhi to withdraw its troops from the Maldivian waters. The Maldivian Democrat Party and the Democrats jointly issued a joint press statement labelling the shift in foreign policy seen to be anti-India as extremely detrimental to the country's long-term development. In a reflection of the prevailing tensions in ties between New Delhi and Mali, for the first time the Maldivian government sent a lower level representative to India's Republic Day reception. Last year, it was the Maldivian president, H.E. Ibrahim Mohamed Soli, who attended the reception. And this time, it was the mayor, Adam Azim. Notably, amid these tensions, tourism from China has significantly increased from January 23 to November 23. According to recent data by the Maldives Ministry of Tourism, for the first time since the COVID crisis, the number of Chinese tourists visiting the country has surpassed the number of Indian tourists. And now, from the third largest incoming tourist, on the Maldives on the 2nd of January, Indians now are the fifth largest group on the 23rd of January.